Our next speaker is Professor Jia Xiao Lu from the State Key Laboratory of Freshwater Ecology and Biotechnology at the Institute of Hydrobiology in China. Uh, he's going to talk to us about the uh, combined stocking of piscivorous and plankton feeding fish and uh, the effect on water quality in China. Okay, uh, Professor Liu. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great uh, pleasure to uh, make a presentation uh, on the webinar. The title of my presentation is uh, Combined Stocking of uh, Piscivorous and Filter Feeding Fish can efficiently utilize food organisms and improve water quality uh, in Chinese lakes. Uh, case, case studies in three lakes, I'm Liu Jiaxiao from the Institute of Hydrobiology, Chinese uh, Academy. And uh, the presentation is uh, dedicated to my best uh, friend, Professor Sandra De Silva, uh, as you know, China is the largest agriculture producer of the uh, world with a total agricult agriculture area of uh, 5.1 uh, 5, uh, 5. million hectares and uh, a production of uh, 30 uh, million tons. All of these uh, freshwater areas, including ponds, lakes, reservoirs, streams, and the paddy fields, are used for agriculture, but uh, culture-based fisheries normally occurs uh, in lakes and reservoirs. The total area of uh, lakes and reservoirs is about 43% uh, of the total fish water agriculture area, and the production is about 12.4% uh, uh, of the total fish water agriculture production in China. China has the uh, has rich uh, lake resources, and uh, there are uh, 2,693 uh, uh, lakes larger than one square kilometers, and we have uh, 98,000 man-made uh, man lakes, also called reservoirs. So uh, this, these lakes are widely distributed over uh, chi uh, China, with different climate environments, uh, types of uh, and uh, fisheries utilization methods. So lakes suitable for CBF are distributed in the eastern half of China or the northern uh, half of China. The middle and the lower Yangtze River Basin is the most important area for freshwater agriculture. There are uh, 4,000 lakes, including some small lakes with uh, an area of about 20,000 square kilometers and more than 100, 170 fish species, mainly uh, saccharines. So in this area, we produce over 80% uh, of Chinese fresh water fish production. Uh, one of the main uh, challenges for lakes in the middle and the lower reach of the Yangtze River Basin is uh, fishery resources are declining. The uh, main reasons include damming, which blocks the uh, migration path of fish, uh, reclaiming land from lake, which causes habitat loss, uh, slow scale construction between the river and the lakes, which also blocks the migration path and causes a habitat fragment. And finally, overfishing is another problem, which also uh, affects spawning and uh, recruitment. And uh, slow scale construction is the main impact for mitigation of the uh, four major Chinese carps and other fish which spawn in large rivers. So stopping of these fish are of very importance to restore fish resources, regulate lake systems and utilize natural food organisms, and finally, uh, improve water quality. We have uh, tried two uh, uh, bio -manip manipulation methods for CBF. One is to use deciduous fish to control small sized fish, and then to increase zooplankton, and finally, to uh, utilize phytoplankton bacteria and suspended organic uh, detectors. 
In practice, normally we use the perceiver as fish living at different water column layers, such as uh, mandarin fish living in the lower layer and the quarters living in the upper layers to control difference. So more sized fish living in different layers, uh, as we did in uh, Ishikan Reservoir, Shenzhen City, Guangdong Province. And the other method is to use field feeding silver carp and the big head carp to directly utilize phytoplankton and zooplankton and also suspended organic detritus and uh, in order to uh, control agar uh, uh, blue. So a uh, long uh, traditional environment vacation was first found in the early 1990s. The Dongbu Lake, uh, just in front of uh, my institute, uh, that is the Institute of Hyperbiology, the Chinese Academy of Sciences, which is uh, extremely uh, eutrophication lake. And the terrible smell, you know, from our blooms through to our institute from early May to October every year. But the low more large scale water blooms appeared from the early 1980s since a fish farm was built uh, by the lake, which stocked a uh, uh, quantity of uh, silver carp and big red carp in the lake, into the lake. Then scientists at uh, my institute did an um, enclosure experiment with uh, low fish, fish or so with silver carp, silver carp plus a big red carp and the natural uh, lake water. So in the low uh, uh, fish enclosure, you can see the, uh, the biomass of phytoplankton is uh, uh, the highest, but all of the other enclosures uh, with silver carp or with uh, silver carp plus uh, 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 big red carp or the larger uh, lake water had no uh, uh, phytoplankton biomass. And furthermore, studies on the structure of the gear record of the silver carp indicated that the, the hole of the uh, records is between uh, 10 to 20 mm, uh, which are the similar size of many phytoplankton species. So all the flag uh, all the phytoplankton within this size can be consumed uh, by the silver carp. And the big head carp has similar gear regular structure for a diameter. And during the past 10 years, we have uh, done a lot of uh, studies with the with combined stocking of PC virus and uh, filtering, filter feeding fishes. And we think they can efficiently utilize food organisms and improve water quality in Chinese lakes. And one case study is Kuilei uh, Lake in Quinshan City, uh, Jiangsu, Jiangsu province with um, area of about uh, 750 hectares. And the lake is uh, a drinking uh, water source for the city. It was full of uh, magnifies in the earlier uh, 20th century, but the uh, magnifies almost uh, disappeared until 2010. And further studies indicate that the basic olivers, olivers fish, uh, including common carp and the cushion carp, are the main driving, uh, driving factor which caused large scale loss of uh, magnifies because little herbivores fish like a grass carp or Chinese a green are uh, found in the lakes. As there are too many olivoyous fish and the shortage of food of food results in the digging of the mud and then causes a significant decrease of water transparency. So our mayor, uh, main measurements for the uh, regulation includes assessment of fish reduction potential of different food resources to, uh, in order to uh, determine the stocking amounts, 
And the second thing is the combined stocking for perceivers features to maintain a predation uh, pressure on common carp and the crushing carp. And finally, to strengthen the capture of common carp and the crushing carp. And uh, it is very happy that big change occurred after combined stocking. Now, species number, you can see that uh, species number of magnifiers significantly uh, increased from the original uh, species, three, uh, six species to uh, 13 species, and the coverage rates increased from uh, 3% to, to about 75%. And what is more, we did not uh, plant any macrophytes in the lake. And you can see that's the uh, uh, dist distribution of uh, certain uh, macrophytes species in the uh, Quile Lake. And that you can also see, uh, see in the meantime, both average phytoplankton cell number and the large phytoplankton cell number significant uh, degrees. And the crustacean number uh, increased while water transparency significantly increased and uh, chlorophyll uh, A contents uh, uh, decreased significantly. And the, the second case study is Liosanite with an uh, um, area of uh, 4,000 hectares in Wuhan, that's uh, in my uh, province. And, uh, and and that is also a place for the uh, demonstration of eco-fisheries in China. Now, uh, since uh, 2016, we adopted combined stocking uh, measures, including stocking of field feeding fish to control water blooms, uh, stocking of uh, piscivorous fish to control small size fish and enhance uh, zooplankton. And uh, a strict, uh, strict and also strictly control herbivorous fish like the grass carp and, uh, and, uh, and the benches uh, feeding uh, fish. And finally, enhancing. enhancing enhancing the uh, large size the pencils like uh, snails and the uh, shellfish. So you can see from this picture the demonstration results showed that magnified uh, coverage uh, reached over uh, 70 percent and uh, restored we have restored 16 magnifies and it's also the based water quality uh, lake in 163 urban lakes of Wuhan city, and we also restored the, the, the fish diversity, including three uh, 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 beetling species. And the, the third case is the uh, Chandra Lake, also called uh, Southern Eye. Island Lake in Hangzhou City, Zhejiang Province. And the area of this uh, lake actually is uh, reservoir. The area is about uh, 58,000 hectares. That's, uh, I think it's the third largest reservoir in China. Okay. And the main uh, regulation measures include uh, uh, ecological stocking based on carrying capacity uh, assessments. So we calculate the carrying capacity for silver carb and the big head carb, and also we calculate the yearly uh, harvest amount for the uh, reservoir. And the second, we use uh, three level varying techniques of thickening the production uh, because the, the shortage of uh, uh, plain uh, land in reservoir areas. So these uh, measures in, uh, include wearing of uh, uh, some of uh, fingerlings in ponds, and then we uh, wear uh, the, the, the winter fingerlings in reservoir coves, and finally we move the, the, the winter fingerlings 
to the reservoir and wear them in cages to use uh, natural uh, foods like the uh, plankton. And uh, the third method is uh, removing uh, nitrogen and the phosphorus by harvests. And the totally we can remove uh, uh, about 70, 72 tons of nitrogen and about 24 tons of phosphorus from this re reservoir by uh, harvest. And uh, in this uh, lake is uh, also a very famous demonstration site, both for fisheries de development and also for, also for water quality imp improvements and also for uh, traveling. So that's uh, a brief introduction of our uh, recent work. Thank you for your attention.